Hello and welcome back. I am your host, Edo's Creations, and well, it's been a long time, hasn't it? We've been over a year, really. So, today we are playing Crusader Kings 2, one of my favourite games. If I make it a bit more colourful, there we go. It's a map. It's based in medieval time. Well, this is actually early Middle Ages. We've got the Viking Age, High Middle Ages, William the Conqueror, the Alexid... No. Third Crusade, the Latin Empire, Age Mongols, Rise of Hansa, and the late medieval. So there's plenty to play. And the map spans from all the way over from Tibet and India. All the way through the Middle East, the Caucasus, I think that's the Caucasus, through the Byzantine Empire, we've got Italy, France, Germany, you know, Europe, we've got the Moors down in, down in that place, Spain and Portugal, we've got England, Iceland, and we are starting our little own Dy well, not a little dynasty, it's quite a large dynasty already, but in Ireland. So let's dive right in. We'll turn the Aztec invasion off, everything else to default, start. We will do Iron Man Ireland LP. So our aim for this game is an achievement run. We are literally going to conquer all of the British Isles. Just all of it. From Pickland down to Kent. All of Ireland first. And then move over to Wales and Scotland. And we'll just conquer. So let's dive right in. Before we unpause we've got all these pop-ups to deal with. We have the ruler and married, so let's go find our dude a wife. We have nobody. Okay, let's do groom and heir. And we'll select the war focus. Hmm. We are a scholarly theologian, we are arbitrary. Ambitious, lustful, and sly. <laughs> okay. Now, what you may not know is that I've actually already recorded most of an episode of this. Same person, same place, all basically the same. However, it kind of messed up, so I've had to do it again. The last time I married a princess of Lombardy, this time... I can't. So, we've already got a plus 15% fertility, plus 20 for that as well. So really, we're at plus 35. So I don't think we marry with a lustful woman. I don't think we take a chaste woman as well. Like, we need babies. We could go for this woman here. Now she's got good stats, for the most part, and she's got Midas Touch, which just means she gives more babies. Fertility, plus 15, so we will be pumping out babies all day. So I think we do that. Now it will cost me some prestige, but we have to take that hit, so. Next we have our son, our heir. Who has very good stats. Brilliant stats actually. But I think we make him prideful. And our Kingsman. I don't really care. He can be thrifty. Regent. I will literally just whiz through all this. Yeah last time we had amazing diplomacy. So we were kind of just like loved by everybody. <laughs> they were just like, we love you, we love you, king. Well, mighty king, chief. I'm a chief. 
I am literally just giving all the people that dislike me a job. I think that will do. Now we'll get our him doing that. We'll train troops here. We will build a legend here. We'll study technology in Thrake. And improve religious relations with the Pope man. If I'm going too fast, please, 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 please do tell me in the comments. I didn't want to make this a tutorial video. However, I'm happy to make a tutorial video at some time. Well, videos, because it's a very complicated game. We could probably spend about an hour just talking about one thing. However, I think we are ready to pause I can't see us doing any of these oh these are the holy or should we just join Lucifer's own no no we're not gonna get all into Satanism just yet for now we'll just speed up time I think I'm gonna take the prestige because we are minus 79 so that should help us just bump up. And my wife has arrived. She doesn't really like me though. So. We're fabricating claims here. So we're not going to attack him. Ooh. After the council meeting, Stuart Fablib asked me to exchange a few words in part. Uncovered a rumour of a rare artefact. Believed there was some truth in the rumour. Ooh, our steward. Yes, let's send him off to find a rare artifact. I don't know. Oh no. He's already failed at it. Well done. Let's look for someone to attack, shall we? Uh, we're kind of quite weak compared to everyone. <laughs> in, in the other Let's Play, I was literally just so strong I was just fossilized everybody so uh, let's do this dude first sort tribute raise the men and rally together merge let's go attack him he doesn't want to fight that's fine ah wrong button and we won Ooh, the Pope likes us some more. Let's just march over here and start sieging down his temple and things. Uh, minor titles. I don't want you to be my... And I don't want you. I want... You. And you to be my commanders. So as you can see, we're already conquering. We've conquered the tribe. Ooh, ah, oh, another setback. So we've conquered the tribe. We're now sieging down the bishop brick. I hope this mic's on. Yes. I was going to say, if I've spent the whole time here, to, there we go. He's given up. So we can march back. Offer peace. Enforce demand. So now, oh, we can take a concubine. Not from him. I don't think he has any. He has a concubine of his own. But. No. Not interested. I wonder. Let's get talk to the the king. I wonder. Can we take one of your oh, wives as a con? I don't know. Yeah. As you can see. They've already. Gone. I've already married off, so I can't take any of his children. Oh, splendid! Right. We've just got a load more troops. Let's find someone we can beat up. Hmm, maybe not him. Maybe not him. Maybe him. I shall kill you. Oh dear. I have no men. This was a mistake. 
This was a very big mistake. I don't think I can beat him. I shall try. I think I won. I th just. Quick, chase him down. Oh, what? Oh. Yeah, we won this one. Okay, that's good. Okay, get our morale back up. Now we just have to out siege him, which I think we will. I think we'll win. For those of you that have no idea what's going on, please do say. Uh, I didn't really think about doing it simply. I was just going to play it and sort of explain my actions and why I'm doing things, which I'm probably not even doing very well anyway. No, not interested. Can't spend the gold. So, if you do want a proper tutorial game, feel free to comment in the comment section below. And while you're there, leave a like and maybe even subscribe if you really enjoyed the episode and want to see more in the future. So we're just going to enforce demands. So now we've got Connacht and um, uh, him. As you can see, he, we defeated him. We're both ambitious, we declared war. He doesn't like me. But he's my tribute tree. So you'll see that I should be amassing some wealth now. Should be, being the key word. Let's see, are we making money? Yes, barely. I think we'll save up for this market village. Oh, yes. Well, I just I went through all this, but we're going to take direct leader, which means we're leading the center. It just makes our center so much stronger, and the center is so critical to all battles in this. So, we will get that. I don't know how long this recording has gone on for. 13 minutes or so now. I oh, know my wife. She has food point. Someone's trying to kill my wife. Who's trying to kill my wife? I don't even know who I'm on now. Okay. Put some... Sharing an intriguing discovery with me. During his search for an artifact, he came across the rumours of an even more rarer object. If we decide to pu pu pursue the new lead instead, we can still make use of some of the old research and resources, Fabiel tells me. Stay on the original path? Or how exciting we shall investigate the new... Let's investigate the new lead. Let's just go for a rare artifact straight off the bat. Oh, okay. We will make our son... Uh, he's not very good at war. Let's make him into a diplomat. And my Kingsman... He's not really good at... Make him good at war. There we go. I'm happy. Oh no, my wife died! Oh no! Right, let's get a new wife. That is literally how the game works. Your wife dies, you get a new wife. I know. I know. It's just brutal. But she'll do. She's 17. I mean, I'm 54. She's 17. Meh. Yeah, why not? Let's see if she's more attractive than my first wife. I mean, she's alright. Let's get a haircut. Literally, we can eat. there's a DLC where you can get haircuts. Let's let's do that. Oh my gosh, we look like. So, that's our face, and we're married to a 17-year-old girl. Okay. 
and we still haven't got a claim. So we can't really go and get more land yet. Let's see, let's... What's our military... Yeah, our military is just so weak at the moment. I think we're just going to have to wait for it to replenish. I mean, look, we're 300 men down here. I don't think we go to war, I think we just have to wait. Ooh, making steady progress, good. Yep, yeah, that's basically it. I wonder, can we... Uh, no. Let's take one of your concubines. Ooh, no. She's, she's disfigured. She might be lustful, but she's old and disfigured. No. Hmm. Let's try Mercia. Will you give me a good concubine? No. Wow! Look how many children he has! I might marry one of them to my... Oh, uh, he's already betrothed. She isn't. Let's get betrothal between her and my son. Yeah, I don't care that you'll prefer matrilineal. She joins my dynasty. Lysling. Hmm, gluttonous or temp? Let's go for temp. No, we didn't get temp. But... Wessex. Can I get a concubine? She's celibate. That is not a good concubine. <laughs> For those that don't know what a concubine is, it's kind of like a girlfriend. So having a celibate girlfriend to make babies with, not going to end well. So, no. Oh, the Pope's liking me. Let, let's see, let's see, let's see. The Pope. The Pope. Can I take one of your con? Oh, no. You have no concubines. That would just be funny, though. Whoa, that's fancier. Okay. Let's see. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, she's a... Mm, she's a bastard of the dynasty. My wife's pregnant. My 17... 19 year old wife is pregnant. Awesome. I'm making a baby with a 19 year old. And I am 56. Making steady progress. Okay. You. Can I declare war on you? No. What happened to him? Incapable? He's incapable because of the flu. Flipping heck. I guess you get the job. Can I get you to search for the artifact? That's why I'm getting very little money, it's because minus 10%. Eh, I'll send you anyway. Probably should have sent my court chaplain or something. I might do that. <gasps> I've got a daughter! Let's call her... I don't know, let's just randomise. Dub Laman. Lemna? Dub Lemna. Let's just stick with it. Let's just stick with it. Dub Lemma Nick Nally. What is that name? If anyone has a name like that, or knows anyone with a name like that, please, please do tell me. I am so curious to know. Let's see. Duke of Tuscany. Yeah, let's make an alliance with him. Ooh, I could marry her matrilineally. Let's see. Can I marry her matrilineally? Courtier in foie. Yeah, let's do that. So 
So they are matrilineally... Matrilineally betrothed. Oh, and that is the timer. So thank you for watching. Let's turn the timer off. Timer, shut up. Thank you. So, thank you for watching. I've been your host, Edo's Creations. This has been Crusader Kings 2. I hope to see you again in the next episode. And stay fussy out there.